Good morning, folks. It's a quiet Sunday. We'll hopefully learn an info nugget about filament releases, check out sunspots, weather, an article about methane that doesn't matter so much after one from May 10th. We'll quickly sneak a peek here at Jupiter and the moon at the top of the sky in the new valley of the sun last night. Wanted to make sure I was out there for that one. We've also got an atmospheric humidity run at Null School, but let's get going over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star presented pops from the departing bright area on the north, with the activity waning on the left side, the eastern limb. It was a quiet sun. For those who nearly lost your marbles at the no CME filament release earlier this week, it is much more common than you might think. We've seen them shoot off sideways, collapse back down, get stuck in the corona, or as was the case yesterday at the departing northern polar cap, it did what we call a fountain return down to the star. No CME came off with it. Looking at the solar flaring, we see intermittent blips on a march downward. This is due to spread that grew between the blue and red umbra we noted yesterday, decaying a bit, but the negative umbra at the southern portion of the caboose is still noteworthy. We're coming next to the solar wind. We indeed watched a small and weak stream intensification yesterday from a small coronal hole that had faced Earth three days before. Not much to it, as the rises were modest only, we barely even got a whiff of geomagnetic instability, and we're calm now. So folks, there is a cool new animation and article out about massive craters on the seafloor that allegedly came from methane exploding out at the end of the last ice age. The story is clearly meant to follow the climate change paradigm, but alas, it is one of those methane efforts that began well before anyone knew that when it comes off the ocean floor, it's not so much of a greenhouse gas. It upregulates carbon uptake and has a net cooling effect on the world. Shouldn't feel bad about 7 billion people on this rock didn't know that one either. Top viewer location alerts begin at New Zealand. Strong storm goes on today. The high pressure over Australia is strong enough to hold off the lows surrounding the island nation. In the U.S. tonight, we're looking at more of a widespread downpour scenario than anything else could be isolated severity within that enormous mass of southeast moisture. In Europe, the Icelandic low is connected to one to the east that allows the land-based storm to feed off the ocean. Eyes open from Germany and then to the east and north as time moves on. We'll have the rest of the weather wind maps, humidity runs on null school, and shots of our star to close. Fly on the Wall podcast episode yesterday for website members as well, so check that out. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.